I'm sure all of you have seen those sweepstakes that ask you to follow, like, share, and you will be entered to win thousands of dollars of luxury items or an exclusive trip somewhere. It's so tempting. Even I participated in it. But I'm here to ring the alarm. They get more out of you entering your information than you stand to win. If you win. Data is the new currency, which is why these sweepstakes are rampant across Instagram and the like. Before I get into the details and explain how you can protect your identity and your information and avoid spammers, let me introduce this channel. This is The Legal Code and on this channel we discuss various legal topics that may be affecting you, whether that's happening on the internet or that's happening uh, with Hollywood shenanigans, we discuss it here so that you can be enriched and learn and know how to protect yourself. If you like that sort of thing, please don't forget to like and subscribe and share with anyone else you think will find value. Also, I am a real life attorney. So if you would like the opportunity to work with me one on one to troubleshoot any areas that of concern that you're having with your business, you can set up a consultation. The link will be provided below. Now, without further ado, let's get into these sweepstakes scams. Now, sweepstakes are rampant across Instagram. They tell you you have a chance to win thousands of dollars or luxury products or a trip somewhere. If you just follow these steps, you will be entered to win. Whatever the rules of entry are, they're usually very low low threshold rules. It doesn't require much of the audience and this is not by accident. And most entries don't think anything of it because they're not asking for private information such as social security numbers, phone numbers, your address, information that is mostly considered private, but just your email address or your Instagram handle is enough. But even that information is crucial. Be aware of the information that is asked of you. We are usually alarmed when we see sweepstakes that require you to enter financial information such as credit card numbers or bank accounts or social security numbers. Those are a lot more obvious and overt to avoid except for older people who sometimes get caught up in that. Now these are clear red flags and usually most people can avoid them. If you're not aware, privacy policy alerts the visitor, you and I, to the site as to what information the company collects about you and what the company does with this information. This is very important and you want to care about this. I know no one wants to read any privacy policy while they're, while they're scrolling the internet. But you want to know where your information is going because they make money off of your information. It's being sold to other companies without your knowledge. Sweepstakes sites need to collect this personal information from you to be able to enter you into the giveaways. Now spammers also want this information, this personal information too. So it's natural that they try to imitate sweepstakes or the company will sell this information to this third party, which lead me to the Kardashians. Yes, unfortunately, all roads lead to the Kardashians and the questionable and unethical practices. Every so often, the Kardashians, millions of Instagram followers, catch them doing a double take when they see one of the famous sisters posing with a pile of designer bags and goods or an exclusive trip somewhere while also promoting this giveaway. Now, the competitions are glaringly uncharacteristic of the star's otherwise perfectly curated feeds, with some people wondering if the sisters' accounts have been hacked when they see these posts. Similarly, all of these posts share is that their competition is affiliated with the company called Curated Business. Now, the Car Jenner sisters involved will also typically archive these posts or change its caption as soon as the sweepstakes deadline has been reached. 
And if you go back to search about this sweepstakes, it's usually removed from their social media feed. There's always a caption that states, who wants to win $100,000, preloaded credit card, two first class tickets, five night luxury stay in a designation of your choice. And details of how to enter are then listed with hopefuls having to do several profiles to follow everybody that he or she is following before returning to Kim's post to comment. Now, terms and conditions are also listed on Kim's post, including that the sweepstakes is uh, in no way sponsored, administered, or associated with Instagram or the brands. And her photo entrance must be 18, can be based anywhere in the world, and the competition was only live for 48 hours maybe before it's archived. All of you, I'm sure, have seen these posts, if not by the Kardashians, by another well-known influencer or celebrity. Now, IG Famous Dana did a short video about this and I was like, things that make you go, hmm, is this legal? So I reached out to her and she was kind enough to give me some insight and behind the scenes of how these companies contact certain celebrities or certain Instagrammers in order to promote this sort of thing and how they make money. So look at this recent giveaway in honor of Khloe Kardashian, her second baby. Now this company decided to host a motherhood giveaway. So the cost to enter the giveaway is for the company to pay $8,500 to the host company and then also product placement in the photo with Khloe Kardashian's IG page. Now it's worth it for the unknown brand to get exposure. So $8,500 price tag is worth it to be associated with the Kardashian brand. So what's happening here? This is not technically a sweepstakes, but a follower loop facilitated by curated business and the like, whoever it may be. The format is always the same. Now, if you visit their site, it has an interesting aesthetic of like rose gold, soft pink, that's neither here nor there, but there's a sense that the company is manufactured and a bit trite, if I might say so myself. It looks like it's trying to portray something to the audience that it's legitimate, not a real marketing firm. Like a real marketing firm has, it's just, has a more polished look to it. So the site seems to be curated to give the impression that they work hand in hand with influencers vis-a-vis -vis these giveaways and help influencers brand grow. Now, a follower loop occurs when one party hosts a group of influencers and or brands interested in gaining more followers. The interested parties pay a fee to the group leader. The group leader then shares the giveaway posts, instructing his or her followers to follow the various accounts of the participating parties. The group leaders often temporarily unfollow the accounts he or she usually follow, and for the duration of the loop, follows only those participating so as to better direct people to those accounts. Though a loop can be a quick way to gain followers and thus get more and better brand deals, the million dollar question for everyone on Instagram that is suspicious of these practices is, are the follower loops legal? It depends on the giveaway. Giveaways may pose legal issues if they aren't done lawfully, especially across different borders. Global wish sweepstakes. There's a lot of heavy list lifting, a lot of protocol, a lot of documentation involved. Lotteries are heavily regulated and the laws are not consistent across international boundaries and countries have strict laws in place that a company would have to navigate through when you're doing something like this, especially as the influencer or the brand that might be participating in it. You really want to take a step back and think about whether or not the parties involved running this are aware of what's going on aware of the different laws, aware of the different permits, aware of the different bonding and registration, the permits required. Um, I would say like the Kardashians do have the bandwidth, the resources to check all those boxes, but that's not to say that that's being done. 
with these sweepstakes. Maybe that's being outsourced to curated business and it's contracted that curated business would check all these boxes. So although this may be legal, many people are concerned with the inorganic growth of the channel. However, that's small prize to what's really going on. The more concerning thing is that the privacy of all these people, their information that is collected when they follow and comment, those followers information is collected and sold to third party. And you agree to those terms when you agree to participate in the sweepstakes. So even if those people unfollow shortly after that data is captured and sold. The personal data users give away for free is transformed into a precious commodity. The puppy photos people upload or the people you follow or unfollow train machines to be smarter. Even seemingly benign activities like staying and watching a movie generates mountains of information for these data collectors. Treasures to be mined for businesses of all kinds. Personal data is often compared to oil. It powers today's most profitable corporations, just like fossil fuels energize those of the past. But the consumer, it's extracted from often who know little about how much of their information is collected, who gets to look at it, what it's worth. Every day, hundreds of companies you may not even know exist gather facts about you. Some people intimate than others that information may then follow the academic researchers, hackers, law enforcement, foreign nations, as well as plenty of companies trying to sell your stuff. The trade-off between the data you give and the services you receive are not worth it. But another breed of business amasses, analyzes, and sells your information without giving you anything at all. They're called data brokers. Now these firms compile information from publicly available sources like property records, marriage licenses, court cases. They may also gather your medical records, browsing history, social media connections, and online purchases. And the list goes on and on, which is what curated business has been doing and now faces a lawsuit along with the Kardashians for the unauthorized collection of this data is what the plaintiffs are suing for. So here's the lawsuit. Kim Kardashian and the Jenner clan, also Scott Disick, are being sued for $40 million for promoting Lux prizes on Instagram that are allegedly part of a fake lottery scam. People who entered the contest were allegedly promised a chance at winning items such as a first class ticket to Los Angeles, a three night stay in the Beverly Hills hotel, and even a hundred thousand dollars. Nice prize, right? However, the plaintiffs made up of people who participated in the context did not win. And so they claim in a lawsuit that the Kardashians, Disick, and the curated business organized the context to allegedly sell the personal information to advertising. Also, according to TMZ, they claim that they have been invaded by hundreds of advertisers after their entry, some of which are soliciting the plaintiffs with potentially offensive and unwanted content per the law. So now that we know the background of the lawsuit, it's unlikely that this lawsuit will be successful for the plaintiffs because curated business, if you check their site, has a privacy policy that clearly states that they will share your information to third parties. Your data will be mined, collected, and sold. When the plaintiffs entered the giveaway, they accepted to agree to this, which is why they're unlikely to succeed. However, this is a cautionary tale for all of us who just use the internet for fun or for business. It's integral to our daily lives. If you're not paying for something though, you are the product, you are the commodity. And don't ever forget that if something is free, your information is being sold. Now here's my shameless plug. I work with several clients in drafting their privacy policy for their company in a way to make sure 
that clients know, their customers know exactly how their information is being used when they visit the site. I've worked with several clients because this is really, really important because if you have clients in Europe, Europe is really strict about privacy and privacy policies of vendors. So a business can be fined if their privacy plot policy is not compliant or does not line up with what the, um, the company is actually doing with that information. So I work hand in hand with several businesses to make sure that they're compliant, not only in the US, but also abroad, especially if they have foreign clients or customers. So if you need some help and guidance with that, please reach out to me. I am a real life attorney, so I know what I'm talking about. But also let me know what you think about these, these sweepstakes. Do you think that there should be some oversight with regarding that? Like I say all the time, the internet is a wild, wild west. Instagram, social media is a wild, wild west. And it's so hard to um, enforce any law and order. It's so widespread. And it's so dynamic and all and, and and changing so rapidly. It would be so hard to have some sort of monitoring body to make sure things are done on the up and up. But let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you are aware of follower loops. Have you has this video given you second thoughts about entering your information and being tracked across different social media platforms that you're using. All comments are welcome and I will see you next time. Bye.